Hello everyone, SuperSmash77 here, back to another video, and today I want to talk about some Echo Fighters I think we could potentially see make their way into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as playable characters. But anyway, let's just get right into it. Starting off with a very popular choice for a new Echo Fighter, and that is Dark Samus. Now, Dark Samus I think is probably the most likely character to actually become a separate playable character slash Echo Fighter in Smash Ultimate. Um, Starting off because they actually removed um, Samus's Dark Samus ult in at least the demo of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate at E3. And not only that, it seems like they actually replaced it with a very similar ult, but still pretty different. And I just don't see why else they would do this, um, unless they were going to make Dark Samus a separate playable character. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people like the Dark Samus ult, um, myself included. Now some people have said it was removed because people were mistaking... Um, you know, someone playing Samus with the Dark Samus Ult um, and the Assist Trophy whenever they were on screen together. But, I, I don't know, that seems like kind of a stretch, you know? In that case, it would seem more likely to remove Dark Samus as an Assist Trophy as opposed to removing the costume. Um, at least in my opinion. I just think Dark Samus has a very likely chance. I'm not exactly sure what they would change about her though, since I don't know too much about Metroid. Um, and based on her Assist Trophy, all of the moves she uses for the Assist Trophy seem a bit too different, um, or too drastically different to really work for an Echo Fighter. Uh, but really, I just, uh, you know, without knowing much about Dark Samus, I just love um, Dark Samus' design, and I would love to have Dark Samus as a separate playable character. But moving right along, the next character we're going to be talking about is Shadow the Hedgehog, another very popular choice that a lot of people are theorizing will be a separate playable character slash Echo Fighter in Smash Ultimate. Uh, now, the main reason people think he will be a separate playable character is because he actually, as of right now, is not an assist trophy in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate like he was in Super Smash Bros. 4, and Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Um, rather, Knuckles the Echidna is actually seemingly replacing him. Now granted, I do say seemingly because for all we know, he might still be an assist trophy um, that we just haven't seen yet. But if it really does turn out that Knuckles is replacing him, I do think that gives him a pretty a pretty good shot of being a separate character slash Echo Fighter. Uh, but granted, maybe they'll just make him a costume for Sonic. You know, I mean, Olimar still has Alf as a costume, so it's definitely possible. But if they were to make him a separate character, I think the main difference would be um, well, first off, I hope they make his Final Smash Chaos Control instead of just, like, Super Shadow. Uh, but I think it's pretty likely they would still make it a sh Super Shadow. And second, I think his up special would probably be, um, Chaos Control Teleport, or whatever the move's called in, um, Sonic 06, instead of being the Spring. Uh, but yeah, you know, I like Shadow the Hedgehog, and I would definitely like to see him as a separate playable character. Uh, but I'm still not 100% convinced that he's not going to be an assist trophy, um, or even just a skin for Sonic just yet. Now on to Funky Kong. Now personally, I'm not someone that really wants a new Donkey Kong rep. I know the series definitely could use another one, um, and I do definitely think that the Donkey Kong Country Returns games are some of the best platformers ever, but I don't know, you know, when I look at the Donkey Kong characters, I don't say, wow, I would really like to play as them in a fighting game format. You know, they're just not characters that I really care about playing um, in a format like Smash, but I know a lot of people would like a new Donkey Kong character, and that's completely fine, of course. Um, but if there is one Donkey Kong character I would like to see, it's definitely Funky Kong. I mean, I just I, I just love Funky Kong. I love his design, I love his attitude. The only problem is I don't really know what you would change. I mean, I know Echo Fighters are supposed to be nearly identical, uh, but that's the key word, nearly. Um, I don't know what you could really change about him to make him slightly different. Like, obviously you could make some moves faster or slower, and that's fine and dandy, but usually there has to be at least um, one difference in one of their special moves, and I just don't know what you would change. Like, maybe... Maybe you could change his up B to like be something with his surfboard instead of um, like the Donkey Kong Tornado or whatever his up special is called. Um, but I, I'm just not really sure how you would change uh, Funky Kong up so slightly to the point where he's not, you know, so different that he's like Dr. Mario, um, but still close enough to be called an Echo Fighter. So that would be the main hurdle in my opinion. Alright, next up is Crumb from Fire Emblem. Yes, I know, another Fire Emblem character. I know you all don't want it anymore, but hey, I like Fire Emblem and I would love to see another character. Um, and yeah, Crumb's kind of interesting because, uh, actually way back in Smash Wii U, um, with Palutena's guidance, they actually made a joke about him, um, not being a separate playable character because he would basically just be a clone of Ike, which, in and of itself, that doesn't really make any sense because based on Fire Emblem, uh, lore or whatever, he would actually be, um, or he would actually play more like Marth, so it's kind of weird, you know, if he was an Echo Fighter, would they make him play like Ike, like they said in the Palutena's guidance conversation, or would they make him play like Marth? which makes more sense in Fire Emblem lore. Uh, personally, I think they'd make him play like Ike, simply because having two Marf clones, um, or two Marf Echo Fighters might be a bit too much. Um, but really, that's pretty much the reason why I don't think Crumb will happen. You know, I don't think any franchise is really going to get more than one Echo Fighter. Um, granted, I could be wrong, 
Um, and Fire Emblem already does have a lot of characters, and since we're most likely, and obviously this isn't confirmed, but most likely going to get the new um, female Axe Lord um, as DLC, probably, most likely, I think so anyway, um, it does seem like adding Crumb might be just a bit too much. Um, and I'm sure, you know, the Lin fans would be pretty salty if that happened, but uh, honestly, I could see Sakurai and the team just adding him as a last-minute addition um, and then not telling anyone until the game comes out. Similar to Dark Pit, although I guess technically Dark Pit was revealed before launch because of the Palutena trailer, but, uh, you know, details, details. Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't think Crumb is super likely, but at the same time, I could see it happen. Next up is Malos from Xenoblade 2. So Malos is actually kind of a funny pick for an Echo Fighter because there's actually two different ways you could um, make him an Echo Fighter. So the first way, and technically the only actual way you could do it at the moment, and uh, really quick, just uh, spoilers, or minor spoilers, kind of, I guess, for Xenoblade 2. If you haven't played the game, I'd recommend just skipping to the time on screen. Um, yeah, you know, if you plan on playing it and still not done with it, I would just skip. Uh, but yeah, you know, if, if you don't really care, then continue. But anyway, like I was saying, you know, there's two different ways you could actually make him an Echo Fighter. And the first way is you can make him a Shulk Echo Fighter um, and let him have the Monado he has, you know, towards the end of the game. Uh, the only problem is I don't think he actually uses the same arts as Shulk. If I'm remembering correctly, the only one that him and Shulk share, and I, I could be wrong on this, granted, because I'm not the biggest Xenoblade fan ever, but is I believe they both have Monado Buster. Uh, but that's about it. I don't think they have any other arts in common. Uh, so that might be kind of a problem. But I guess you could make the debate that there's nothing saying he can't explicitly learn the other arts? I don't know. Um, you know, I'd love Malice to be in the game as a separate playable character. I absolutely loved him in Xenoblade 2, uh, especially his voice actor. Um, but anyway, the second way you could actually make him an Echo Fighter is if slash when uh, they do inevitably add uh, Rex and Pyra to Smash Ultimate, whether it be in the base game or DLC, um, they could actually make him an Echo of them and then give him his blade that he had um, like through Chapter 1 to Chapter 4. Uh, speaking of which, I actually don't know what happened to that blade after Chapter 4. I don't think it ever was shown dying, so I guess he just got rid of it or whatever. Uh, and yeah, you know, that's another way you could do it. And like I said, I would just really like to see Malos um, as a playable character. You know, Smash needs more villains, and I think he is a really great one, and I just really want to hear his voice actor do new lines. And last but not least, Paper Mark. I honestly don't have much to say on him. You know, I think they could make him a really unique character. Um, maybe making a move set around his partners that he used in Paper Mario and Paper Mario and Thousand Door. At the same time, I guess they could also make a pretty unique move set based around the stuff he does in Color Splash and Sticker Star. But I think we can all agree we'd probably rather have the partner based move set. But at the same time, I could also see them just making him an Echo Fighter with slight differences and maybe giving him um, one special move where he uses his hammer, you know? And then maybe his final smash, he could call in all his partners from the various games or something to help him out. But yeah, I don't know, like, Paper Mario could be such a unique character, but at the same time, since he is technically Mario, although I think um, the Mario and Luigi crossover game technically confirmed that he is a separate character, you know, they could just make him a Mario Echo. Um, the only thing is, like I said with Fire Emblem, I don't think um, any of the franchises will get more than one Echo, uh, but I could be wrong. Uh, and I mean, we do have free links, so why not have free Marios, I guess, right? Uh, but yeah, who knows, you know, it's definitely a possibility. But anyway, that's it. You know, tell me down in the comments below what characters you'd like to see as Echo Fighters. Um, do you think we're going to get any more Echo Fighters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Personally, I think we'll get about two more uh, for a grand total of five. Uh, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see in December uh, to see how many we get exactly. Uh, but anyway, I've been Super Smash 77. I'll see you in the next one. Over and out.